Um, this is the type of movie that the cynicism of today, uh, it's very, uh, doesn't allow this type of movies. You know. Yeah, it's not a cynical movie. Yeah. Um, it's also a true story. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, it's hard to argue against these, these young men who didn't have a lot going for them and suddenly they had a sense of direction and they proved how successful they could be with direction, with purpose. So anybody that would make fun of this um, isn't seeing the real truth of, of, what, of what these young men were able to accomplish let alone how many younger people around them they've affected for the last 20 years because of what they did. Mm -hmm. uh, and you also chose your roles not in, in a cynical way because uh, your characters are always straightforward and very honest in what they do. Yeah, I, listen, I understand the world. I understand how complicated it is. I understand how screwed up it is. But I am not going to allow that to make me a cynical person. I, my eyes are wide open. Mm -hmm. So I understand Complica complications. I understand politics, if you will. Hate them. I hate mm -hmm. that's the way things are. But I'm not going to let that ruin me as a person, uh, how I deal with people or how I uh, deal with, with um, things that seem, you know, like a story like this. You know, somebody wants to, uh, I think this is great. Mm. Uh, as, as a director, uh, do you see yourself sometimes directing yourself in another person's movie, for example, or maybe Nikki should do this, or maybe you should frame that, or maybe you should take this? Um, no, I don't feel the need to do that. If a director asks me, do I have a thought about something, I'll tell him, but otherwise I just do my job. Mm -hmm. um, and what do you like the most, director or acting, in the I, last years? Yeah, I, well, I've directed three movies, so I... Um, you know, I don't know. I, I think uh, I like directing, but the, the days are really long when you direct. You work every day. Mm. No days off. Mm -hmm. And in, in this, do uh, you met Jim White? I, I guess so. So what do you find in, in him, in Jim White, the real Jim White, that you can transport to your character? Well, I just think that he, listen, I've had coaches in my life. I played a lot of sports, mm -hmm. and coaches can have a tremendous influence. I, you know, you think about the coaches you had, your friends do. Coaches have a tremendous impact and uh, this man this man changed their lives. This man made, he, he couldn't do the work for them but he could show them if they did the work what could be possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you also were in a lot of movies about sports so it's some, something you chose consciously to do that? No, I never even think about trying to be in one. I, but if I see what I think is a good one, like McFarland, you know, I do it. If I do see a movie like Black or White, I make this movie because I think it's important. Okay. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome.